Thank you very much. Uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, truly a great pleasure to be here and to address you at this very important uh, um, biotechnology uh, meeting. Before I go into details, innovation policy and, and also biotechnology, maybe uh, I would like to say some words about the Hungarian economic policy in general, where we are now and where we are heading. And uh, I think uh, over the past uh, years, and also in response to the economic crisis, uh, we have got uh, a lot right in Hungary. So there have been uh, two main pillars of the changes aimed at uh, putting the basics in place so that we can start uh, to create uh, more jobs and expand the economy. So two pillars I would like to mention here. One is fiscal stability. Fiscal stability has been achieved and uh, just two or three figures uh, to it. Uh, the debt to, debt to GDP ratio is decreasing. Uh, Hungary exited the so-called excessive deficit pro procedure after nine uh, years. We paid back uh, the IMF loan and we have a budget uh, clearly, budget deficit clearly below 3%. We have a grip on the budget and I have to apologize that after my speech I have to go to the budget discussion which is started right now at nine o'clock in Parliament. The second pillar is uh, the reforms. The government um, has implemented and is implementing a wide range of reforms. I would like to mention only a few of them. Uh, the most important, I think, the uh, new labor code to ensure a more flexible and more modern workforce, I would say, and also pension reform, dual vocational training, educational reform, tax reform, and many of them and all uh, have the main aim to make the Hungarian economy more competitive. So we may have turned a corner economically, I would say, and have started uh, down the right path, but uh, uh, there is a lot more to uh, be done for recovery and become growth. So what is needed is what Edmund Phelps, uh, Nobel laureate in economics, has referred uh, in, uh, in his earlier writing as a dynamic capitalism and in his latest book, Must Flourishing, that is the title of the book anyway. And he argues that what we need is, uh, is an environment where innovation and risk-taking are central, where small uh, startups make uh, radical technological breakthroughs, where companies grow and open to new markets, where new jobs uh, are being created, where living standards, are rising. We need more imagination, more creativity, more dynamism, more grassroots innovation in one word, must flourishing. That is what, uh, what uh, Phelps said in that case. It is true that that is not a uniquely Hungarian uh, challenge. It is also rather a global uh, challenge. And there are today many critical voices uh, when we look at the innovation landscape. One is Tylan Cover said that we have uh, rather, he coins, uh, it is a great stagnation when we look at uh, how much real breakthrough we have in innovation. Or Peter Thiel, the founder of the PayPal and Internet Venture Capitalist said uh, last time that we wanted flying cars, instead we got 140 characters. Twitter, yeah? So we have the we had the imagination. We have so imagination flying cars or holiday in the space and so on. And instead of we have just this incremental innovation, in particular in internet uh, uh, sectors. So uh, when we look at uh, biotechnology, I think that is uh, biotechnology is more than just one field of the innovation. Uh, biotechnology is truly radical. Uh, it is not this kind of incremental uh, innovation. And one of the fastest uh, growing uh, industry in, in, in the world. So this is also true for, for the Hungarian uh, biotechnology. Uh, we have a relatively small number of, uh, of companies, a little bit more than 100 uh, uh, biotechnology companies are active in operating in the Hungarian market. But uh, they, are, uh, they are growing uh, very, very fast. So I think the growth rate of this uh, sector is incredibly high. And when we talk about a so-called vital 6%, that made 
in, in Britain, they uh, carried out a, a research that when we look at all the companies in a, in a country, 6% uh, of the companies are responsible for more than a half of the, of the job increase in a short period of time. And these are the so-called vital 6% companies, high growth uh, and high impact companies. And I think the Hungarian biotechnology companies uh, uh, definitely belong to this uh, so-called vital 6% in, in uh, Hungary. Uh, when we take the Hungarian innovation landscape in, in, uh, in, in general, I think there are many uh, opportunities and availability of financing for innovation has been improving significantly in the last uh, decade. Just one um, figure for the openness of the Hungarian uh, economy. The FDI stock, uh, in, I'm talking about that stock, is uh, more than uh, $100 uh, billion in Hungary. And uh, when we compare us uh, to GDP, it is the highest ratio, more than 80%, uh, the highest in Central and Eastern uh, Europe. Venture capital investment. In the last uh, two or three years, it uh, uh, has been improved also very significantly. And currently, Hungary ranked uh, as first in Europe for venture capital investment uh, compared to uh, GDP. Investment uh, and expenditure on R&D, uh, according to GDP, is also uh, increasing. Last year figure uh, was 1.3% which should be a humble figure when we compare other countries in Europe or with the US, but it is the highest when we look back the last two uh, decades. So Hungary has something which is, I think, to some extent a unique, and last time I would quote the Financial Times. The Financial Times reported uh, the so-called buzzing startup scene in Budapest. So clearly, uh, we are gathered in the right place at, uh, also for this conference. Uh, but on the other hand, in work of support that uh, they are sometimes struggling to find enough uh, strong startups or strong uh, uh, new teams, uh, which has also the aim to reach the global uh, market. So that is why we have launched uh, the program of technological incubator, or in America you would say rather the, the so-called accelerators, to support high growth startups with global market entry. Our program is an application of a successful Israeli, Finnish, and, and Singaporean model. And these accelerators are financed partly by state and partly by private. It is the first time in Hungary that uh, we had the international peer review in the selection of the, of the um, uh, accelerators. The whole amount of the program is 2.1 billion Hungarian foreign. That is a funding, two parts anyway. The funding for accelerator state funding is 240 million Hungarian foreign, and the private funding uh, for the uh, accelerator is uh, 160 million Hungarian foreign. But more importantly, I think that the funding for startup uh, for the next year from the state side will be 1.8 billion Hungarian foreign and additional private uh, funding uh, come to it. So, in sum, uh, during the next year, more than 2 billion uh, Hungarian foreign will be available for those who would like to turn technological uh, idea into business, and not just the money. Money is important, certainly, but uh, they will receive also mentoring, expertise, uh, networks to reach the global uh, market, so that is uh, also important for the concept. And definitely we will uh, continue this program in the first quarter of the next year with the next uh, or the second uh, call and I am very happy uh, that uh, the government made the principal decision that uh, the so-called uh, innovation uh, fund uh, will be shifted on 1st of January to the Ministry of National Economy. So first uh, incubator or accelerator has been uh, selected uh, and one of them is focusing on biotechnology. And I think uh, it was a very good decision because four uh, accelerators, as I mentioned, three is, will operate in IT 
but uh, as I mentioned before, that uh, um, when we were dreaming flying cars and, and improving the life, and, and instead of we got only 140 characters, we need also life uh, science. So um, one is focusing on biotechnology, and uh, University of Saget and also the Hungarian Biotechnological Association is very strongly involved in this incubator. And I think it is also a guarantee that, uh, that uh, the startups or those who would like to have uh, uh, to turn the idea into product uh, will uh, get not just the funding, as I mentioned, this 1.8 uh, billion Hungarian foreign, but also the expertise and the networks and everything what is uh, needed uh, uh, for it. So we have a, a buzzing uh, startup scene, but certainly there are many more uh, to do in uh, that uh, case, in, in many fields, in education, in improving the access of funding. Uh, I think also in, in regulation there are many uh, many part uh, to do. Let me uh, finish this, uh, this short introduction with uh, with some quotation from uh, Thomas Friedman. He wrote many books. Uh, the world is flat, and and, and 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 so on, and in particular in the technology. But in September, in the New York Times, he wrote that in a and I quote it: in a world where the big divide is no longer between developed and developing countries, but rather between high imagination enabling countries and low imagination enabling countries. I'm not sure what does it mean, uh, high imagination enabling country, but uh, Hungary is definitely is a high imagination enabling country. And I think uh, every uh, step forward to biotechnology to put forward and to support uh, the uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, but also the uh, startups in, in biotechnology will uh, help uh, for Hungary to become a high imagination enabling country. Thank you very much. And sorry that I have to go to the uh, parliament to discuss this very important issue of the budget. Just one word about the budget. The good news uh, um, on, the, on the budget for the next year, there is no news in it. So no, no, no significant changes in tax system and fundings and so, so that it's not, uh, and, and I think it is a, is a good news for the business in Hungary because after this very turbulent time of, of, uh, of changes, uh, I mentioned the fiscal consolidation, the reforms, uh, what is uh, badly needed in Hungary is the predictability. And we, when we have a very boring budget for the next year, it is good for the business because it is a sign that predictability will improve in Hungary. Thank you very much.